Hi, I'm Peter, and I will be reacting to our three f first three films of this channel. And I'll also be uh, talking about the acting that I do. So the first one is Line. And what I like about this shot... Wait, no, hold on, I'm the actor, aren't I? Never mind, let's keep going. Oh, look, there I am with the washing basket. Um, so, yeah, I was uh, trying to um, kind of have this casualness about myself, but also kind of not be bothered, you know, kind of that, that um, uh, balance between that. Uh, a lot of people think that not being bothered and being casual is the same thing, but that could not be further from the truth, let me tell you. Um, here you see me looking through the washing line. The, the, this take I did, sorry, let's go back a bit. This take um, took me quite a few takes because I kept looking at the camera accidentally because from my field of view, there was the camera, which was 50% of it, and then the rest of it, which was the other 50%. So it was very hard to kind of like, that's why I look over the top of the camera. I just, yeah, look over the top like that. Which may, may, maybe in hindsight I should have maybe got someone to maybe step back a bit so I could look underneath the camera because that's where I would be looking if there was a disappearing ladder. There I am looking confused. So I still wanted to keep that kind of casualness because I felt like if this happened to me in real life I'd freak out. But as it, I think it works better in this film if I was you know more casual and I think it makes things more funny. As if like, yeah, this is weird, but it's kind of normal at the same time. I don't really like this shot. Okay, the, the one where I put my hand through, I don't really like that much. I think my reaction is a bit weak, and I feel like I could do a lot better. And when, <laughs> when I put my hands in my face like this, I feel like um, Martin Freeman, because I feel like that's a kind of like a, a kind of thing that he would do. I don't know, I just want to put that out. There we are. Nice grin, smile, clips off. <laughs> Not really much I can say about this other than just take clothes down. Whoop, hats comes off. <laughs> Feel all accomplished, look into the sunset, realize that my hat's not there because the sun's getting in my eyes. And then I, uh, run past the line and that's it for line moving on let's go to ba -ba -ba -ba, curtains love curtains now curtains was shot well, i think samuel said in the last video like 10 minutes after we came up with the initial idea so um this is curtains it was very off the cuff and we we're like oh we need to do something and I came up with a genius idea of curtains opening right when you're about to fall asleep. It's not that genius, it's quite simple really. <sighs> we had to actually do reshoots for the audio in this for uh, me falling asleep sounds, which was kind of awkward, but I think it, it, it's, it's the subtle things that make something big and something good. Now Samuel was really particular about my lack of shirt and almost made me because <laughs> I, I, I would button up the shirt except for the fact that the buttons have all fallen off because they're like like what five years old this shirt so Samuel tried to like <laughs> gaffer tape <laughs> gaffer tape sorry this my, my shirt up but it kept falling off so I'm like you know what allow it this is a horror movie it's not like it's gonna be like you know for for kids or anything so it doesn't matter so Okay, over here, I think I should have acted more scared. Because right here, I feel like I was looking more kind of confused. And I was like, ugh. And all like, annoyed. I look pissed. <laughs> I should have been more like, oh, no, there's a, there's, my, my curtain's opening. Because the reason for that, why I should have acted that way, is because in the next shot, I'm like, you know, looking at the... At, at, at the curtain, being like, oh no, something's going to get me. And that, to me, 
I don't think works very well because then I'm just kind of like, I'm pissed. And then, uh, you know? So if I had to do that again, I would definitely uh, make that be the case. There's me falling asleep. I don't really like this shot, not because of the shooting, but just because of the acting. I don't really know what else I could have done, but it was all right. Now this shot, we did take many takes of it. Uh, one of me like being less expressive, I guess. Um, but this was one of the more expressive ones. And yeah, I'm kind of glad we went with it. I'm watching TV. You know what I want to do? I want to make like a horror film where the characters aren't really stupid. And so far we haven't done that. Because this character is really stupid. Like, Clearly, this isn't his house because he's too young to have a whole house to himself. So clearly he's got someone else living with him. So why wouldn't he just go wake them up and say, oh, dude, my curtain's haunted or something. Just go downstairs, watch TV with two sets of curtains, one behind him, one of... You know what? It's fine. It's not even about the acting anymore. I'm just annoyed with that one. But I, th I think it was, a, it was, it was, it was fun. Um, I won't react to the channel introduction because that is not a movie. Now on to Chop Chop. I, did, <laughs> I didn't really act in this. I was the, um, the butcher, the butcher of the, of, of the vegetables that is, <laughs> um, nearing the end. Uh, however, I was the tortoise wrangler and uh, I kind of feel sorry for noodles here because half the time I was just pushing him along I was, I was pushing the fruits with tortoise, with, with, with noodles. I was pushing noodles into the fruit, so it looked like noodles itself was pushing. And I was like, oh no, I'm like, this must be really annoying for him. Because <laughs> with me, I'm quite a claustrophobic person. So if somebody was pushing me into like a wall or a fruit or something, I wouldn't have liked it. So then I'm like, oh, I feel like, ugh. Um, oh, let's go back. This shot, the one with the knife and me holding it. You can see I've got really bad eczema. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. There is, there is a little something out of all of this. There is a bit of annotation. Um, I, I go and grab the knife like this. Usually when you're in a kitchen, you don't, you just grab it normally. But since I wanted to like add a lot of like, oh, scary murder thing, cause it's from the view of a tortoise. I wanted to like have it. So the blades down here and I've, I'm holding it like this. Um, I thought, it added a little bit, not too much, but added something, I think. <laughs> There's pizza stepping. There's noodles stepping. Oh, I'm sorry, noodles. Ugh. <laughs> Although the kiwi was pretty good. He, he managed to push that with his arm quite a bit. Um. <laughs> but yeah, noodles did like release his uh, waste quite a few times <laughs> in the production of this uh, video while we were filming with it that is <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that i just wanted to say that we had to clean that up for quite a yeah went for the carrot plop that down <sighs> the spring onion let me tell you something about a spring onion. This spring onion, I felt that this moment right here where you zoom into the spring onion is when either the, the film would go completely downwards and would ruin it or make it really good and complete it and just have a final punchline that was like, oh, just that extra kind of ha-ha moment, you know. And 
the person who voiced this uh, Spring Onion is our lodger, Paul. Um, he also, he was the one who like pulled up the string and made it move. Um, so I feel like he's also attached to the Spring Onion in the same way I am, but it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's that. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Um, I believe that's it for this video. Um, thank you for staying with me and <laughs> reacting <laughs> to these videos uh, with me. So, um, I've got a meeting right now, uh, so I should go. Thank you for watching and, um, uh, join us next time when hopefully we've got another short film or something.